Good evening, Mr. President. My name is Doris Rodney, the owner of the Hills Restaurant in Brooklyn. We would love to see you in Brooklyn. As a president of Guyana, we don't only want to see you in Queens. We have people in Brooklyn who are waiting to welcome you. Let's talk about the race issue, whether it's for real or if it's a figment of somebody's imagination. Because from my understanding is that even if you were suffering at the hands of some racists, there are procedures and processes to follow. There's the ERC. You can take your matter there. The last time I checked, um, there are not many, if at all, any um, matter before the ERC in terms of wanton racism. The question that Doris raised there is like, Irfan, you do not go to Brooklyn. Go to Brooklyn. The people of Brooklyn will welcome, welcome you. Really? I don't know. Let's go back again. I, I just say it. We need to iron, annihilate it. We need, definitely need Correct. to annihilate it. And it's being spreaded by persons that, that don't live in Guyana. Yeah. And you raise a point that is troubling for me as an individual and as an afro guyanese a budding business woman. For you, because I welcome the president warmly into my business place, you're calling on people to boycott me. That is the consequence of development, lopsided work, lopsided infrastructure work is the consequence of development. Who this goat if You can expect to see the president. You can be sleeping or president because he embodies it. He goes out there and he's with all the Guyanese and he does it with passion and you see it. And that is a type and that is the type of leader this country needs. So let's don't worry about this this race talk and all of these kumbaya. This is a president with a vision. This is a president that will continue to make sure that he brings this country together for the betterment of all of us. Right. And you can expect to see the president. You can be sleeping or president because he embodies it. He goes out there and he's with all the Guyanese and he does it with passion and you see it. And that is a type and that is the type of leader this country needs. So let's don't worry about this this race. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button buddy and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Good evening, Mr. President. My name is Doris Rodney, the owner of the Hills Restaurant in Brooklyn. We would love to see you in Brooklyn. As a president of Guyana, we don't only want to see you in Queens. We have people in Brooklyn who are waiting to welcome you. So, sir, I know you I promise you. Please, I promise you. Even if you gotta come to the hills, we will welcome you. I first. I promise you, I'll come to the hills and the valley. <laughs> you will see me. I will come. My first. Can I? My first. I just wanna say, I went to Guyana two months ago, and the roads, the East Bank Road from Georgetown to Tamari. I live in Susta. This where I reside. The roads, the traffic, it's horrible. And I know you're doing your best, but if while we're doing the infrastructure, I know everything is moving fast at the pace, but while we're building our country, people are dying. I was petrified. I was praying to come back to America without any getting myself hurt in any accident and so forth. So please. Do something with those sand trucks. Those big, you, you right. trucks. Okay. That is the consequence of the government. Yes, I know. We can't stop it, but we have to enforce the laws. Yes, Thank you. And, and you see, all of us have a responsibility here. Because many people allow their 17 year old child, their 21 year old. Okay. So forget it. Air Finale was very dismissive, but I want you guys again to. Uh, um, listen what transpired, listen to the question, and then fast forward to the recent meeting 
in Brooklyn. You've got to fast forward. It appears, in my opinion that is, it appears that this was in the making. Since last year, the question that Doris raised there is like, Irfan, you do not go to Brooklyn. Go to Brooklyn. The people of Brooklyn will welcome, welcome you. Really? I don't know. Let's go back again. I, I don't know if I'm, I are we on, are we watching, are we thinking the same thing, guys? Let's go again. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. President. My name is Doris Rodney, the owner of The Hills Restaurant in Brooklyn. We would love to see you in Brooklyn. As a president of Guyana, we don't only want to see you in Queens. We have people in Brooklyn who are waiting to welcome you. I promise you. Please. I promise you. Even if you got to come to the hills, we will welcome you. I promise you I'll come to the hills and the valley. <laughs> you will see me. I will come. My first, can I? My first, I just want to say I went to Guyana two months ago. And the roads, the East Bank Road from Georgetown to Tamari. I live in Suzdak. That's where I reside. The roads, the traffic, it's horrible. And I know you're doing your best, but if while we're doing the infrastructure, I know everything is moving fast at the pace, but while we're building our country, people are dying. I was petrified. I was praying to come back to America without any getting myself hurt in any accident and so forth. So please, do something with those sand trucks. Those big, you humongous trucks. Okay, that is the consequence of the development. Yes, I know. We can't stop it. That is the consequence of development. Lopsided work, lopsided infrastructure work is the consequence of development. Who this goat Irfan Ali is talking to? But anyways, I'll check your comments. Uh, what you guys thought of what you just saw there uh, and what happened in Brooklyn recently? You saw, you heard for yourselves. You know what's really going on? What's really going on? Because I got some content here that you tell me what you see when you see it. You tell me from your own perspectives and your own interpretation that this might have been the foundation, the foundation plan, or this might have been the starting to the plans a whole year ago for the rumble in Brooklyn, for the PPP coming to Brooklyn. Might this had set the foundation, open the gates or given the keys Come to here, come to there. We are welcoming you. A whole year ago. You tell me. Let's get into the video right now. Let's talk about the race issue. Whether it's for real or if it's a figment of somebody's imagination. Because... From my understanding is that even if you were suffering at the hands of some racists, there are procedures and processes to follow. There's the ERC. You can take your matter there. The last time I checked, um, there are not many, if at all, any um, matter before the ERC in terms of wanton racism. So tell me, where is the evidence coming from? I would love to know. You all help me here, please. Tell me. Evidence? Man, whatever evidence or whatever thing they're using is as is as mystic as the SOPs that we have, <laughs> right? We're still waiting to see those SOPs. We're still waiting to see whatever, whatever it is that, 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 that they have. You know what, but you know what I think it is? I think that racism in Guyana, while once, while it was, we all know the history, while, while once upon a time it was something that, something that really plagued us, I think it's in life support. Right? It's great, great way to describe it. And we yeah. need to kill great it. Great way to describe it. We need to annihilate it. We definitely need to annihilate it. And it's being spreeheaded by persons that, that don't live in Guyana. 
Yeah. No. And you raise a point that is troubling for me as an individual and as an afro guyanese a budding business woman. For you, because I welcome the president warmly into my business place, you're calling on people to boycott me, basically to affect my livelihood and the people that I support. How do you all feel about that as a businessman? If that happens to you, how would you feel? Listen, I, I, like I mentioned, that is, that is hypocrisy at its, at its highest level. How can you then say that you're for these people and you want them to develop and, and, and earn monies and progress and then you're calling for a boycott? You see, persons need to understand what, is, what, are, what are these persons' motive. Yeah, we what have to are, wonder. We have to understand that and on, unless we understand that, we'll actually keep listening to them. We need to shut them out. Understand where this country is going, where it's heading. It's unfolding right in front of our eyes. The, the development and the transformation. It cannot, we cannot hide it. It's right there in front of you. So like my, like my, my good friend, Mr. Alfonso said, you know, it's, it's on life support. <laughs> you gotta pull the plug. Yeah. Gotta pull the plug. We gotta pull the plug. But I want you to, to tell me, what is your understanding? Because recently, I posted a, um, the video of the president being warmly um, accepted in New York. And someone wrote on my page about the BS. It's one guy and it's BS. What is your understanding when you see the actions of the president or witness the actions of the president and the one guy on a mandate? How do you feel about that? You think it's a farce? You think he's bluffing? You, you think he's trying to think? It's, it's, it's no bluff, and we can clearly see it. Every single community right across the country, you can expect to see the president. You can be sleeping or president... Because he embodies it, he goes out there and he's with all the Guyanese and he does it with passion and you see it. And that is a type and that is the type of leader this country needs. So let's don't worry about this this race talk and all of these kumbaya. This is a president with a vision. This is a president that will continue to make sure that he brings this country together for the betterment of all of us Bro, and that is what we need to he doesn't to, just have a vision sorry but he goes out there you've, you've seen him some, sometimes i get notifications i'm half asleep and i get notification on my on, on my facebook app uh president ali is live now friend is out there at 4 a.m in the morning talking to the vendors at the um, the, the fish vendors at, at metal bank or he's or he's in sapphire or all voice town or or you know and, and wherever he's he's he doesn't just have the vision but he he recognizes that you know you can have a vision yourself but unless you get input from the people that matter, the people on the ground. You know, you know, you know <laughs> not to cut you there, Alfonso, but the thought came to mind. Because I've been, I, I don't like to speak to myself a lot, but it's a, it's a thought. So I've been, so I've been a captain for, for quite, a captain for cricket team for quite a long time, from under 15 straight up to under 19. One thing I learned is that you need to lead from the front and lead by example. So I'm saying this to say not just, you, you see the work not just from President Ali, but all the ministers, because he leads from the front. And if you have someone like that who leads that charge, it is easy for the other ministers and everybody else to follow. Yeah. Right? And this is yeah. what you see on a daily basis. Somebody addressing issues and not hiding or, or, train or, or, or you know, going behind and hiding from issues, confronting them, and he always speaks to this, confronting issues and coming up with a fix so that we can move forward. And, and now